Welcome to Graysonville Elementary School's annual holiday concert. And thank you very much for coming. The students are excited to share with you a culmination of their diligence and their dedication to music. We hope you bear with us as we make a few requests of our audience. We thank you for your cooperation. Please find a proper seat for our concert. Children should be seated with their parents or close by where their audience participation can be monitored. Everyone shares in the responsibility for making a concert successful, both the performers and the audience. Please remain quiet during the performance. We ask that you silence your cell phones or other devices that may interfere with the concentration of our performers and other co audience members who are trying to listen. We also ask that you're careful not to talk during the musical selections or when performers are speaking on stage. If you must leave and return to the auditorium for any reason, please wait to do so during the applause after each song. Please stay for the entire program. We make every effort to keep it short for your convenience. We know you are so proud and happy to share this moment with your children. Your attention to these small details will make a huge difference in everyone's experience this evening. We thank you in advance for your cooperation. And so, as we begin this holiday tradition, we ask that you welcome the first group of the evening, our chorus, and they are under the direction of Mrs. Jamie Dean, our musical director. Ms. Dean? Thank you.
collection, it show, it, it's showtime. Got your, got your feet tapping and ready for our show. In this song, we started working on harmony as one of the groups as we sang an ostinato, and an ostinato is a repeated pattern sang or played under the same under the main melody. Good evening, and thank you for coming uh, to the Graysonville Elementary School's annual winter concert. Our school choir is made up of 49 in grades three through five. This is our largest choir in 15 years, and not only large, but we have been working extremely hard for tonight's concert. <coughs> In your mind, picture trying to open a chestnut. The frustration of trying to crack that silly shell. Our next piece is an O, the trials of tribulation of wanting that tasty treat. Chestnut is written with a bear cube style accompaniment. The bear cube time period in music was from 1600 to 1750. Famous composers from this time were Bach Handel and Vivi. Vivi. This piece is a partner where two little songs are sung separately and then put together to create Tradition Christmas Carol. The choir has worked hard learning all the parts to this song, which was hard because of the old English six. We welcome two of our fifth grade choir members, Alexa Gabriel and Emma Fletcher, who will be performing the opening song.
want to extend um, just something for the choir. First of all, Emma and Alexia have been choir members since both of you third grade, right? Yes. So they have been on this side of the stage. And can we just have another round of applause for our soloists? teachers out of bus duty today that the choir, this gives me chills just thinking about it, um, I can't even tear up. The choir and the band is probably some of the most motivated and responsible kids I have 
ever worked with. Their enthusiasm, responsibility is just amazing. And I know they get it from everybody out here. And I just want to thank you because this is the reason why Graysonville still has a music program. Mrs. Camp, our families and community, these kids up here with this enthusiasm that just can't be beat. And um, just a special thank you for getting the million emails at the last minute, nine o'clock Tuesday night, hey, let's have practice. And you know what? I have 49 students here. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. And I hope your children have enjoyed this experience this season. And I hope to see them in the spring. Okay, boys and girls, you ready? All right.
always, uh, it's just, anytime there's a performance, you know, there's going to be something broken, and it's just the way it goes. And poor guy, not even his fault, it's just the way it goes. Um, thank you for being so patient while I have a student run down and get the other saxophone, which is in the third grade cluster. But I'll tell you what, at this time, I'll take a little bit of time to brag on these students. Um, we are very fortunate here at Graysonville that we still have band as a part of our school day. It is getting harder and harder with the academic schedules that our administrators have to adhere to. And Mrs. Camp has gone out of her way to make sure that we are still given time during our day. Um, so every student receives a half hour a week in a small group. We um, go on the ABCDE schedule and these students have been phenomenal about bringing their instruments and having their music. They've done really well with that. Now here's the incredible part to me. Tuesday, Thursday mornings I offer before school 8.30 practice. And this is just a supplement. After school is crazy. And several of these students take the opportunity once, twice a week to show up to get that practice before school so that when they get home, it's homework, sports, family, whatever they need to do. Boys and girls, would you please raise your hand if you've taken advantage of the 8.30 opportunity? Yeah, yeah. It's not easy. Especially on a Thursday morning towards the weekend and you just don't want to get out of bed, but these kids are doing it. Also, for the last, I would say month, right guys? Probably month. Um, twice a week we've been doing 4 to 4.45 practices after school. And once again, incredible, incredible turnout. And now that is even harder too, because as soon as you get home, homework, dinner, Boys and girls, raise your hand if you've gone for 445 practices. And we thank the parents for getting the transportation for all of that. So you've got my spiel out of the way, so we can continue. <laughs> all right, boys and girls, I'll tell you what, we are going to do um, hot cross buns right now. Um, very, very patient. Okay, hot cross buns. You ready? Oh. Check off this. When band members completed 
Jesus proposed this prior to the concert, the band members had the opportunity to perform solo or a part of a small group during the concert. Our first duo is Mackenzie Gidry and Mary Hubbard, performing a traditional Hanukkah song, My Riddle Club, Will Follow, performed by Ali Ruth and Justin Slogan, performing London Bridge as a duet with Harmony. with several festive holiday carols. At this time, I would like to introduce our next solo, Sophia Centennial, performing Deck the Halls.
Hoffman and Alexa Galbraith playing Jolly Old St. Nick.